Hello, I'm Harlan. Now today I'm going to show you about living in the Spirit, not walking in the flesh. If you walk with a dog, you'll never get in the Spirit. Because dogs can see spirits and it scares them. They'll bark at them. They'll cut a fit. You can't walk with dogs. If you walk with John Hagee, you're walking with a dog. You can never get in the Spirit. They're apostles of Satan to keep you in the flesh. You see, you either live in the flesh or you live in the Spirit. The carnal mind is enmity of God. So you cannot live in your carnal mind. Pay attention to what I'm telling you now. Do not live with dogs. This is a dog. Now, this is an apostle of Satan. He transformed himself into an apostle of Jesus Christ. He keeps you in the Bible. He keeps you out of the Spirit. You'll never see the Holy Ghost around him. See, you don't bring the the hire of a whore or a price of a dog in the house of God. Because you see, a dog only has one life, and that's in the flesh. So remember these truths, like when the spirits went out of legion and then went into them hogs, what did they do? They ran into the ocean and killed herself. Now here's a dog. He drive, runs around the $65 million airplane, and you feed him. You give him uh, his clothes and, and all of his money. You give to the beast. You see, now this is given to the beast here. This person here can forget about you ever being in the spirit because you give the power to a dog. You see, you're giving your powers to the beast. You're making friends with animals. Don't make friends with animals. Walk and talk with God. Be a partaker of the Holy Ghost. Now this man here is a jester. He just makes jokes and things. He's not a serious person, but Satan anointed him to keep you in the Bible to keep you out of the Spirit. See, these dogs keep you out of the Spirit. They they don't want you for nothing but just for their flesh. They return to their vomit. So this is a dog. And people that loves dogs and walks with dogs, you go out in the morning, I used to have nine dogs. Mama said, you've got to get rid of some of them dogs. You couldn't pray. they jump on you. Uh, cause you all kind of, Now this is a chief dog here. He'll, he'll tell you you're going to have a nice life, a nice home. He, he puts you in the flesh, you see. Every one of them tells you about how great they are. When you see a person with a scooper and a dog, you can forget that person. They're not in the spirit. They are in the flesh. If that's not being in the flesh, there's not a cow in Texas. Now, if you go in a haunted house and you take a dog in there, they'll cut a fit. I mean, they can see that spirit. You can't see it, but they can see it. Like old John, uh, Hamburger Hagee here. You can see the devil on him. He's a glutton. And you know that dog, all he wants you to do is feed him and give him another million dollars and he'll wag his tail for you. This looks like John Hagee. Well, this person here, you see. They're beasts. They eat flesh, you see. They're just a, a carnal thing. A uh, spirit. If you see a dog standing barking at something, you think, well, he's barking at nothing. He's barking at a spirit. They can't stand spirits like when Balaam was riding his donkey. If you can't see the devil in the eyes of this dog here, you're blind. See them demons in his eyes? He wants your many. And when Balaam was riding that donkey, that donkey seen that angel. And that dog, donkey wouldn't pass that angel. A dog, will, you will not walk with God if you walk with a dog. Because dogs do not like spirits. It scares them to death. They only have one life, and that's in the flesh. They don't have a soul like we got where God can live inside of us. So you see, do not give power to the beast. That's what you're doing now. Like this beast here, there's a billion people that bow down to him. They give power to this beast. That's the reason he's got so much power. They give him power because he's a dog, and they love dogs. See, like this lady here, she can forget ever serving God in the Spirit. She had the Holy Ghost in her. She would be ashamed because you do not give your pearls to the swine or cast them before dogs. You don't give that holy, which is to dogs. This is dogs. And I'm telling you a truth right here. This man and his father took more Protestants to hell than anybody else in history because they dogs. They put you in the Bible. They say, just come and believe the Bible. See, you can't be in the Bible and serve God. See, these dogs will do you in. You don't take the children's bread and give it to dogs. You see, you must understand that I'm a son of God and I teach you things where you can have a spiritual walk with God. If you get up in the morning and go pray and you got a dog, he will not let you be in the spirit. He'll keep you in the flesh. They got young dogs to keep the young people in the flesh. And they'll keep you in the Bible. And they'll take away your spiritual powers. You'll give your power to the beast. Just like this person here gave their power to the beast. Beware of dogs. You've got to beware of evil. Dogs are evil. 
Preachers are evil. Bible worshipers will keep you in the flesh and you'll never ever have the Holy Ghost and you'll never enter into the kingdom of the living God. Listen to what the Son of God tells you. Now, this big old dog here, uh, Jake's, he's been preaching for years and he brings, they get uh, uh, apostles for black people and apostles for white people and they get, Satan gets all of them. So now, you remember this, when you're in the kingdom of God, without are dogs. They're not within, they're without. They're dogs and murderers and idolaters. So this one here, they don't just get apostles for the men, they get them for the women too. So she's a real hound dog. And she'll to keep you in the flesh. She'll tell you you're going to be blessed. You're going to have everything you need. Now listen to me. The Scriptures were fulfilled. See, they keep you under the Scriptures. That's the mark of the beast. Jesus fulfilled the Scriptures. And then he, when He died on the cross. Now when He said search the Scriptures, that was under the Old Covenant. He would never tell you that today. He, Jesus would not tell you to search the Scriptures or you do err not knowing the Scriptures because that's under the Old Covenant. He would tell you today, get in the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Ghost will teach you all things. You see, they keep you under the Bible. And if you're with a dog, that dog will keep you in the flesh. So that's what Satan wants to do. If he can keep you with a dog all your life, he'll keep you in the flesh all your life. And these dogs that preach the Gospel, see, you won't come to Jesus. You'll come to the Scriptures. And them Scriptures won't save you. You must have the Holy Ghost. You must listen to what I'm telling you. Do not let these dogs, these apostles of Satan, keep you in the Bible and out of the Spirit. Ask Jesus for the Holy Ghost. Tear up your Bible. Ask Jesus for the Holy Ghost. And stay away from dogs. They'll keep you in the flesh. And remember what I teach you. If your faith is in the Bible, you're doomed. Faith is simple like Abraham was the father of faith. He heard what God told him and he done it. And that's the way it is. You've got to have faith in the living God, not in a book. So stay away from dogs. For dogs will get, take you into the mark of the beast. All these dogs has got what somebody else got out of the Spirit. And all dogs want from you is something in the flesh. The Bible is an idol. The Bible is the mark of the beast. <laughs>